Right, we'll catch you up on more sport later. Uh, Masejo, back to you. All right, thank you, Nicole. We'll, of course, be back a little bit later. We do have a guest on her Spursa and its dispute with uh, NetCare. Wage talks between the healthcare union uh, and NetCare have deadlocked. The union is demanding a 5.5% salary increase and a 5.5% medical aid subsidy uh, hike. NetCare is offering 4.6% for salaries and 4% for medical aid. The union says the healthcare giant is splurging millions on bonuses for top executives while ignoring workers. Let's get more now from Hospers' Johnny Harina Rain. Thank you very much, Mr. Harina Rain, for your time here on Newslink. Let's start off with your demands. Um, I know that it's not only the salary increases that you're looking for, but also uh, in terms of medical aid and an increase when it comes to the subsidy there. Uh, good morning, Maseko, and good morning to the ENCA uh, viewers. Um, yes, you are quite right in, in saying so. Um, we are we have a two pronged uh, demand this year and uh, one is the wage which our members are requesting a 5.5 percent increase and also the medical aid subsidy which um, happens to be an in-house subsidy um, which is called uh, the net care medical scheme that belongs to net care and, and they're also offering us a below inflation um, in, uh, percentage increase subsidy. Mm. Uh, now, tell me a little bit more about, um, you know, going to the CCMA for them to intervene in this matter. I think you went around the 12th of February, um, which is about a week ago. What exactly are you looking for the CCMA to do? Um, thanks, Maseko. Um, we have lodged a formal dispute to the CCMA uh, requesting for the CCMA to intervene to assist us in, in trying to resolve the dispute. Um, you would recall that last year we also went to the CCMA and uh, uh, we had what was called compulsory arbitration where we then exposed or we informed the commissioner that the um, net care has been offering us below inflation linked increases and uh, we, we, we did get a, a higher increase uh, from the CCMA, a higher percentage increase which to date hasn't been implemented because Netcare has taken the um, the CCMA and, and us as the other respondents to the Labor Court uh, on a review basis. Um, Maseko, I, I just want to, to uh, highlight to the viewers and, and to the shareholders of, of, of Netcare, um, they recently had an AGM where in the AGM report it states that uh, Netcare is committed to pay above inflation linked increases to the uh, lower categories of staff and an increase uh, inflation linked increase to the the senior executive now um over the current years and over the past years sorry uh netcare has never honored that 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 um you know uh, uh promise that they have been making so um and we as trade union we've, we've always um you know, um, basically rolled over and, and accepted the, the, the increases. And um, our, our members are angry because at the end of the day, uh, they are not being recognized for, for the hard work that they are, mm. um, you know, doing in, 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 in the workplace. So it is for that reason um, our members are saying, please don't uh, mislead us or mislead the, the shareholders because if you would notice that a lot of um, our members are shareholders of Netcare. Mm. Uh, now, I just want to talk to you about that AGM. I know that you have made allegations that the company made a profit of about 88 million rand. If I'm, if, if, if I'm not uh, mistaken, you also say that it paid its CEO a bonus of about 5 million rand uh, last year. This has been a year, uh, well, the past two years, actually, the healthcare workers have been very important as our front line in the fight against COVID-19. So if they're hearing about profits of 88 million rand and the CEO receiving 5 million rand in the bonus um, I'm sure they feel you know very outdone by by the company if they're asking for only 5.5 percent and the company is saying no that that's uh, that's quite correct uh, uh, Maseko um, you would you would uh, when, when one looks through the financials of Netcare which is available on the on the internet uh, you would see that in the last 
financial year, Netcare made a 780 million rand profit. And uh, the CEO has been uh, of, uh, afforded a 3 million rand uh, uh, bonus. Now, th th this, this is something that has been, uh, it's always been there. And it's something that the union has been, you know, uh, uh, highlighting to management and, and saying to management that this is not a, a, a sort of a fair way of, of, of negotiating with us. And um, in as much as we we raise this with, with, the, with the negotiating team, we believe that it falls on deaf ears. Um, and, and, and Netcare just goes through the, net, the motions in terms of uh, offering us a below inflation link increase. So um, we have to highlight this to the to the media and to the general public that uh, this is the stance that Netcare has adopted, and uh, we 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 want shareholders to to to, to understand that uh, we are being the public is being misled. Mm. Uh, now, Mr. Hanarian, just uh, tell me about what you're going to do. What will be the way forward if the CCMA doesn't rule in your favor, for instance? Uh, you know, we've heard of these problems in the public health sector. The government saying that they don't have money to pay uh, public servants or to give them increases. And now we know that the problem is there even in private uh, health. And the company probably will tell you that they don't have the money to give 5.5% salary increases. So what will happen next if the CCMA doesn't rule in your favor? Um, we're going to go to compulsory arbitration. Um, our members have indicated that during the, the, the off time, off duty time, they will protest outside the workplace, um, which would essentially mean that uh, they're not breaking the laws of South Africa, where uh, it is deemed that uh, being uh, a private, uh, I beg your pardon, uh, private health care is deemed essential services. Um, our members have decided that they will protest during their own time uh, to make public aware of, of, of the injustices that Netcare is uh, portraying out there. All right. Thank you very much for your time. So basically that means that the healthcare workers will not hinder on people's rights to care. Thank you uh, for speaking to us, Acting Executive Manager at Hospersa, Johnny Harina-Rain.